What's up Average Dad fans, welcome back to another video and should I say, Asam Allah make em. Think I butchered it, but I'll give it a go. Reporting here from Dubai has just been a pleasure and as promised, here is a video you've been wanting to see ever since I done that disaster of an unboxing. Yes, I saw the comments. Trust me, I didn't want to post it. I filmed a whole other video, but the microphone screwed up. Anyway, we're moving on from that. I have unboxed the photography kit and I have used it at the top of the Burj Khalifa. So no better place to show you how the photos look with the zoom lens on and with the zoom lens off. Also in this video, I will tell you how to install the zoom lens correctly onto your phone with the case and the ring and all that good stuff. Let's go. Now, of course, before you use the zoom lens, you're going to have to install it. So I've done the unboxing, you know everything that's included. What I want to do is just quickly talk you through the steps you need to take. So first of all is attach the ring that comes with the zoom lens adapter, the nice metal one, not the plastic one that comes with the kit. Attach that on and then attach the case onto the phone. Once you've done that, you can then either attach the grip or attach the zoom lens. When attaching the zoom lens, it's important that you have the phone in its angle you're going to shoot. It's very tricky to line it up when you've got the phone in portrait, so have it as if you're going to shoot and then simply twist, rotate, and you'll hear a very satisfying click when the zoom lens is in place. Now you've got the mount as well. I personally put the mount on the zoom lens before attaching the lens to the phone. However, you can do this after. It's a very simple release screw that I'll attach on. And once that's attached, that's it. That's all you need to do. So now that you've got the zoom lens all set up, it's time to take photos. But I have to make it abundantly clear, this is a zoom lens attachment. And I know that sounds pretty fucking self-explanatory, but trust me, there are people buying this kit thinking it's going to change the whole versatility of the camera system. It's just not. As soon as you attach the zoom lens, you lose your wide, you lose your ultra wide. It's only the telephoto zoom lens that is exposed for this camera kit. And even then, because of the way this works with the mirrors, it's upside down. You literally can't do anything but take 200, 400, 600 and 800 mil zoom shots. You can't go closer, you can't go further. So, now that we know that, I'm going to show you some examples taken from the Burj Khalifa. No better place to take these photos. These are four focal ranges taken with the zoom lens. Once you've had a look at them, we're then going to do the same shots without the zoom lens and include other focal ranges that you get because of the versatility of not using the zoom lens. Let's have a look.
So there we have it. There's all the photos and examples with and without the zoom lens. A few things I just want to clear up here. So the main lens we use, the two, the four, the six, the 800 millimeter ranges, they are very comparable. However, I would just like to point out, as you can see here, 800 millimeter with the lens, which equates to about 900 millimeters without, couldn't quite get to bang on 800. In my opinion, is clearer on the zoom lens than without the zoom lens. As I mentioned before showing you the examples, you've then got the added versatility. So if 2, 4, 6 and 8 are very close in terms of clarity, 2, 4, 6 are basically exact same, would you rather have an ultra wide angle lens, a wide angle lens and then max zoom compared to not having any of those ranges with the zoom lens attached? Now I know it's very straightforward to detach and attach the zoom lens, but the more and more you detach and attach the zoom lens, the more susceptible you are to scratching the lens, cracking the case, doing something that you wouldn't do if you had it fixed all the time. I just want to highlight that because for me, personally, I would use a zoom lens once or twice a year on holidays perhaps. On days I knew I ain't going to the beach, I ain't going to be taking it off and on, I just got a specific thing like here, the Burj Khalifa, I knew specifically I am going to get some incredible shots from the world's tallest building. You cannot take the zoom lens if you're looking for close-up shots, macro shots. You have to have a subject that is at least two, three hundred meters away to start to take advantage of the zoom lens capabilities. And then I mentioned there the versatility of not having a zoom lens, but one area that failed quite miserably on the Vivo X200 Ultra was that max zoom. Now I've got numerous examples, I've given you numerous examples where the zoom lens is the best and it is still the best zoom lens on the planet. I didn't have any other phones to compare it with, but even the Vivo X200 Ultra kind of struggled with max zoom from the Burj Khalifa. Look at this photo here. Oil painting would be a disservice and disrespectful to oil paintings. The AI is doing nothing in the way of helping this photo here. So, ultimately, is the zoom lens worth it? Is the zoom lens worth spending over £300 with the photography kit to get with your phone? Probably yes. And the reason I say that is because if you're willing to spend £1,000 on a smartphone, or if you're out there willing to spend £1,250 on a Samsung S25 Ultra or an iPhone 16 Pro Max, why not buy the better phone with the camera kit for basically the same price? Because it is one terabyte of storage. Both of the iPhone, the Samsung, the Xiaomi Global version, they're more expensive for the terabyte version. So that's how I would justify it in my head. But if you are not going to use the camera kit, if zoom isn't something that you're interested in, just avoid it. Buy the phone. You have the best camera setup anyway. So hopefully that video was helpful. Now, before you go, just a couple of housekeeping things. First of all, I'm trying to get to 75,000 subscribers and you can help me get there by pushing the button. And there's also something in it for you. Well, two things. One, amazing content from me. Two, potentially the phone of your dreams. At Christmas, I will be giving away two phones to two lucky people. One random commenter and one channel member. And yes, in case you're wondering, you can sign up to the channel to become an official Average Dad member through Buy Me A Coffee. From as little as $5 per month, you'll get access to monthly giveaways, the private WhatsApp group chat. We just had a UK meetup down in England. There's lots going on in the chat, a lot of technical help and other photos and stuff that you can get involved in. Thanks, Paul. So if that sounds good, sign up through Buy Me A Coffee. The link is in description. And then of course, finally, I stock the Vivo X200 Ultra, the photography kit, the big box bundle, all at the Average Dad Tech Store. The store is now a year old with over 4,000 orders. I cannot thank you enough for the support. Hopefully, with the near 1,000 reviews we've got, 
4.9 star out of 5 average, you're appreciating what I'm trying to do for you as well. So check out the store if you're interested in that phone or any other phone, I stock them all. Until next time.